um, I have a project for you. I think you might like it. I think, I hope it turns out, I think I might like it. I'm not sure. Um, it's one of those I'm really not sure about. So uh, we're gonna see if this will work. I was going to take this one to my group, um, but I decided to share it with you girls instead. Hi, Shirley. I decided I would bring it in here. I had fun with you guys today, and I thought, oh, I can't think I wanna go back in there. So here we are. So I feel bad for the girls in the group. I've got plenty of other things to bring them, so this is just a silly little thing anyway, and the one we did yesterday was just a silly little thing, so I'm gonna bring it to you guys. Anyway, there you go. So I thought it all through, and, and I decided. So there you go, can't back up now. Um, I went to the store, and I bought some prisms, okay? Hi, you guys. So I bought some prisms. They're all glass prisms. Okay, I bought different ones so that we can see how this is going to turn out together. Hi, ladies. Hello. So I bought some that are crystal cut. I bought a smooth one and they're, you know, they're glass. And then I bought, um, this one is a plastic, I think. We'll, we'll see if we can tell. Oh, and this one's the same. Let's see. Yeah, this one's plastic. We're going to try it, see what happens, because I don't know what you guys have. This is the same as that one. I didn't realize I already had one. And then I have this teardrop one. We'll see. I had an idea for it, so we're going to see about that. And then I bought this. So I just went to the um, to the antique shop here, the little local one. I'm not going to add. Do I want to add anything to this? You know, they've got some of these old lights have just crazy crazy, um, you know, prisms. And this was a glass one. It was a little expensive. It was $22. But I mean, look at it. It's almost a tassel in itself. And I want to try it because it's flat back here. He had several of them. Um, but I, I think this one's going to be the very best one. So we're going to see what happens here. Um, but I, Oh, I don't think I want to hang anything else off of this. I'm going to go ahead and take this out. It has another hook uh, for, it has another hook to add. It must have even more um, prisms hanging off of it, but I didn't, I didn't get any more. So anyway, this, we're just going to go with this. So this one's probably going to be the best one. I think it's going to turn out perfect uh, if I don't have any doubts in my mind. <laughs> I'm a little doubtful. I've never tried this. It was just a bright idea. I kind of saw some necklaces on um, oh, Pinterest. You guys know I'm pinning over there. I'm trying to pin like crazy. And I noticed some necklaces that gave me the idea. Um, they weren't on prism. Well, they could have been. I'm not really sure what they were on. But anyway, the idea came to me. So we're going to um, go with it and see what happens here. So uh, let me put you down. <laughs> put you down okay so what I was thinking is to take old book pages so I kind of I kind of want to go through and pick the ones that I want now this is just I don't even know what that is but this one so what I'm doing okay let's talk about this real quick so when I'm crafting and when I pick up books at um, like antique shows or Goodwill thrift stores wherever um, wherever I look for them, first thing I look for is like let me show you this one like the really yellowed out page edge that's always a good sign and then I look at the font like see how this has bold doesn't matter what it says I'm not looking at what it says see that it has small writing and then bold writing it's a dictionary obviously but you can see that and then you see this one is just basic words so see how these two go together, even though they're both different. So it's almost creating um, different patterns. It's almost like using scrapbook paper. If you guys are like into scrapbook paper stuff, which I, I mean, I'm not knocking that. I like scrapbook paper too. I just bought a whole bunch. Um, but, and then of course, sometimes they have little pictures. That's always fun to grab. Um, and then like, look at the font that was in this book. See all of the different, all of the spacing and um, like the little dots. It's just all very interesting. So again, if you put this with that, see how it's all different. And then we add in a little music to it with the different color. And so when we're building a project, I like to do that. Handwritten letters. I just grabbed a little, a little envelope thing that I had of 
it's just easier to bring this down than my big drawer full of papers. But anyway, oh yeah, and look at this. So, okay, when you get into music, I don't have a ton of music in here, but let's just compare. Like, look at the, look at how much black is on this and how tight all of the letters are. It's got the words and all of that stuff. So then when you put this piece, oh, that's not a very good comparison because I think it's all out of the same book, but um, like the big, yeah, that's all out of the same book. That doesn't do me any good. Let me see if I have a piece of sheet music in here. I don't think I do. I have a map. Like there's another good thing, you know, just, just looking, like I'm just looking at all of these little different pieces here that I've ripped out. I, and that wasn't very good to show you, but the handwriting is good. Um, again, like the spacing, this is a bunch of phone numbers you see. So when you put the phone numbers with the music, with, um, the, let's see, this is a piece of a dictionary. See how everything's kind of laying differently. And then this original piece that I started with, see how they're all different. So that's what I look for when I'm, uh, looking for papers at a vintage market. So if the book is when, you, when I'm looking, if the book is really pretty, of course it catches your eye and you grab it. Thanks for sprinkling, Judy. I saw that word pop out. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hi, you guys. Hi, everybody. Oh, it's so, hi. Oh, it's so nice to see you guys. Um, thank you for saying hello. Thank you, Linda. Yeah, Linda's in my group. This was supposed to be in the group, but I decided to go to go live with everybody. It's it's really hard when you have a private crafting group and you come up with a really cute idea. It's really hard to not take it there. That's why you guys don't see me so much anymore. I mean, I've had the group since 2019, uh, February of 2019. Hi, Jen Glenn. Oh my gosh. Hi, friend. I haven't seen you in a long time. Uh, but anyway, so uh, yeah, it's hard to decide what to share because you want to take everything to them. But I decided I've got enough for them this month. We're gonna we're gonna do this with us. So. What I want to do is Mod Podge. So I got this new container too. I've been I've been using just a um, like a cottage cheese container or something like that, but I decided to maybe try to be a little bit. Oh, thank you for the stars, Judy. Um, I decided to be a little bit more official, and it's got a rubber ring and everything. I got this at TJ Maxx. And of course I go to Hobby Lobby and they have the same one and the ring is white or clear. So I wish I would have waited, but oh well, I was going to Hobby Lobby next, but I thought, oh, what if they don't have one? Hi, you guys. Hi, Becky. Oh my gosh. Hi, everybody. I feel like it's been so long since I've crafted with you. So I, again, I'm not sure how this is going to be. So let's, um, let's just do the plastic one first, just because I don't know that that's going to be all that great, but in case you guys have plastic prisms at home. I don't even know how come I have a plastic prism, to be honest. I think I bought a, um, oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Oh shoot, well, we're gonna, we're gonna see. I meant to cut my pattern first. Hmm, well, we're just gonna figure that out, aren't we? So <laughs> let's, let's, uh, here we go. We got a mistake already, right out of the gate. So, um, but we're not gonna sweat it. And I maybe should have gotten a water spray bottle too. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, the girls are used to this in my group. <laughs> I sit down with all these bright ideas. I'm like, whoops. <laughs> and it's okay in a group. You know, when you're on the big page, it's like, you better have your act together. And sometimes you do. Sometimes you don't. <laughs> okay. I thought I was ready to rock. Okay. Here we go. So, oh gosh, I can't see. I got my, oh, I got my glass, my faraway glasses. I have glasses so that I can see the, the phone from a distance. I had to make me arm's length. Isn't that smart? I had to make arm's length. So he's like, well, how far back? So he puts his big machine wherever back. And I, I was like, they're usually like, I can reach my phone, but it's far. So he fixed my eye, my glasses so that I could see you at a distance. So if any of you have a page, you know you can do that. I didn't know, but he said, yes, I can do that. So now I have far away glasses. I have close glasses. Yeah, I'm all over the place. So, okay. Now, you guys, we're gonna go, we're gonna go grab that little mister. It's just in the other room. I know right where it is. I hate, I hate to run a dryer and I hate to leave 
you guys looking at my wall. I hate that. But, ooh, oh, that's going to work. Okay, you guys. So I needed to cut this first, and we'll do that on the rest of them. I'm glad I started with the plastic one. Um, so what I did was just uh, cut the shape of the prism. Okay. And then I Mod Podge to the back of it. So when it shows, it all, mo and this is plastic, you guys, but see, I've seen this done in jewelry before, and that's exactly where I saw it was a necklace. It wasn't a prism. It was just a piece of glass, but I thought, how cool to do this with a prism like that. So the, the cloudiness will go away. That's from the Mod Podge, but yeah, I'll make sure I'm right side up. Yep, I'm right. <laughs> right side up well we're ahead of the game here for sure but i think i and it actually it did fine i was just thinking if i gave it a little mist of water it would kind of soften the paper although i hope it doesn't soften the paper so much that it tears maybe i better not do that maybe i should try it so you guys know uh, i'll tell you what i have a pretty wall behind me check it out Zoom in on your camera. There you go. There you go. Let me move my chair. Oh, and here. See the back of my chair? Isn't that? See? See? I'm going to let you guys look at that while I run and grab my water bottle. Hang on. Okay. Got it. <laughs> okay. See that? I'm back already. <laughs> okay. I'm back already. That was nothing. That was nothing, right? Okay. So here we go. Can I show one again? What do you want to see Denise my prism it's not dry yet so we'll have to we'll have, <laughs> we'll have hi Terry Reno she's in my group too I know I told you guys I was gonna go live in the group today but I'm doing it here um, so I had bought I think this is off of a I had a chandelier thing that had candles it was for candles and it had prisms on it and I think that's where these came from when I got rid of it I think I took the prisms off and kept them. So this is just a plastic prism. I'm going to say the glass one probably reflects it better, but we're going to see. So, okay, let's give this spray bottle a try. I don't know what Denise wanted to see. Denise is in my chocolate tour group. Uh, thanks, Allison. You know, I have, uh, so yeah, Becky, I didn't buy them. You might, you might have to, um, um, look online or something. I'm not sure. You can always try Etsy too. I don't know the benefit of having a plastic prism unless maybe you don't want it to break or something. But it's it's hard plastic. Uh, might not break when you drop it or um, like if the wind catches it, if you put it outside or whatever. Um, and Oh, and then I, then I wanted to seal it. I feel like we should probably, I usually don't seal things because I like the flatness of the paper and not shiny, whatever. But I think in this case, I really do need to um, seal it. Sometimes I do, you guys, don't get me wrong. Sometimes it just looks better with a little shine to it. Sometimes it needs the protection. It just depends on my projects. So there's, if you watch people that seal, it's perfectly great. I do too. I'm not saying don't seal, I'm just saying sometimes Sometimes, some projects, I do not because I want them to be as vintage as possible. So anyway, um, and, and I can tell you, this is like Mod Podge. It's glue and water. It's Elmer's glue and water, 50-50. Oh, there's Denise. They have acrylic and glass on showthings.com. Well, they're uh, showidthings.com. Okay. Uh, all right, there you go, guys. They have plastic ones, she said. Denise, I don't know what you wanted to see. And, um, oh, here, yes. Oh, I have some. Oh, good. She's looking for, I'm looking for Denise to see what she wanted me. I don't know what she wanted me to show her. Anyway, okay, let's keep rolling. Uh, so, okay, let's try this really clear one. I'm thinking it's going to be super great, and I'm thinking this big one's going to be super great. And let me see here before I do, just want to decide, yeah, because it's really, it's kind of distorts it. So I don't think I'm going to use this after all. I thought this was like my best piece, but it's so, of course I have these funky glasses. <laughs> let me just look at it in regular. Maybe it is my glasses to make sure. Well, let me show you guys. This is what I'm seeing. And it looks a little distorted. I don't know. That looks okay in there. That looks good. I want it to be interesting. And I kind of like the dark. Let's see what it does with just a regular, well, here, let's try this dictionary. P 
Wikipedia, or what is this? An encyclopedia. Um, okay, here's words, just plain words. Let's look at that. Uh, you know what? I kind of like the simplicity of that better. I kind of like that better, actually, myself. Now, do I want to grab the edge of those dark words? I think I do. I think I'm going to do that. So, in the clear one, maybe we will do... Yeah, let's do the music in the clear one. See that? I I don't know what you guys can see and can't see. Um, well, thanks, Judy. Oh, you saw what you wanted. Okay. I was laying it down. Okay, all right. So, all right. So, I'm going to hold my prism down, and I'm going to try and trace around this. Now, you guys, I'm kind of making this up <laughs> as I go. Um, I, like I said, I've been inspired and seen things on Pinterest like it, but not for like decor. And I gotta really mark it because I could barely see that other pencil mark. So, okay, here we go. Hopefully, yeah, that's better. All right, I gotta need to get him to adjust these. They are too, they keep falling off. Oh, they're like always pushing them up. All right, so I'm cutting right on my line. I don't want my line to show up on my prism. You should see the little bees we made in the group last night. What? I think I posted a picture in here. I know I did a little video. I don't think I did post it in here. It's on YouTube and Instagram and Pinterest. I don't think I shared it with you guys, but I have some right here. Hang on. Let me grab them. Oh my gosh. They're so freaking cute. Wait till you see how cute they are. They're adorbs. Okay. So I took beads, glass beads made little antenna well that's kind of a big antenna and then i gave him a little stinger too you see yeah i put a little stinger in there and they're little bees to prop on your flower pots or whatever oh yeah i got carried away with some of these after i got rolling i figured out how to do their antenna better i had to go back in and show the girls a better way but um yeah how cute aren't they adorable they're just little bees actually i have some up there um <sighs> Let's see. Well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, this that's that's yesterday. That's so yesterday. <laughs> We're moving on. Are they cute? They're little like little honeybees or bumblebees. I don't know. Uh, it's just muslin shreds on my chairs. I love this stinger too. I think the stingers turned out so. There, I'll put it on my face. <laughs> see the little stingers? So cute. All right, back to our project. <laughs> I'm so easily sidetracked. Okay. So I think we're good. So I'm going to take this, um, it's just a, a mister, a water mister. I have like a chalk couture um, spray bottle and it just sends a real fine mist. So that'll get the paper to kind of soften a little bit, okay? And then I'm going to, this is on. Okay, and then do I want, let's see, do I want to spray both sides? It's very pliable now. It's not, you know, sometimes old paper can be very crumbly and, and, um, why can't I think of the word? I can't even think of, there's a word for it, but it's very like that. And, um, I think getting it wet just kind of, what is the word? Um, not crumbly, not dense. What's the word? What's the word when paper <laughs> wants to fall apart? It's old, it's tattered. That's not the word. I can't think of the word. Okay, I didn't do a very good job of getting that right. Obviously I've cut something I wasn't supposed to with these scissors too. Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna split it. I'm gonna split it down the middle of the top here so that my hook can, um, and hang in there. Oh yeah, I've definitely cut some of these scissors wrong. Okay, oh, but they're so pretty. I got these at Target. We have, we have a Target, but it's far away from me. It's like an hour drive, so I don't go there very often. Let's look 
kind of a treat to go to Target for me. All right. So then I'm just going to, yeah, I think the water definitely helped you guys. If you have, if you don't have a, a like, I know it's not a heavy mist. It's a real fine mist. If you don't have something like that, maybe just take a wet um, dish rag, like a really nice wet dish rag, and just lay it on top of your paper. It, brittle. That's the word, brittle. Yay. That's it. Okay. Brittle. Why couldn't I think of brittle? But that's the word. Thank you. Okay. So, make sure I'm straight here too. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think it's going to be good. Um, but it's it's white. It's kind of milky from the wet um, stuff. And I'm and I'm not painting the whole prism, you guys. I'm just painting the back of it. And I want to keep that laying down where the little handle is. So there's that. Okay. Okay. a little bit all right so here's where we are isn't it pretty so so there this one has that little bit of um oops that's the back <laughs> there's the front so yeah now i i went down to jeff's the the um antique store near me and he didn't have any that were smooth like that he had this kind and this kind they were a little expensive but he's like well you know that's where they you know they come from old life. like yeah they don't just go out and make them so but we proved that we can do it on plastic so that's good but yeah i was surprised how expensive they were really uh okay so let's see yeah that's just basic words i think we're just gonna go maybe i'll do this one whoops I'm gonna go to this one because they're even smaller. So, so that's what it's gonna look like, okay? And then I, I kind of wanted to do this one too. So these are all a little bit different. So I have three more. Let's do three more, okay? Um, yes, oh, I love those lens necklaces. They are the best. I wish I could figure out how to make them because what I have is all I have. So once your initial's gone, I can't get any more. Uh, how would the little picture look behind? Yes, you could totally do a picture. I actually, in this scrapbook box thing, I have a bee that I've cut out of something. And I think it would be, let's just see how the bee does. Speaking of bees, yeah, look. This is kind of what I saw in the necklaces was a picture like this. And then they just make a necklace. But it was, it was more like that. It was more like this one that was plain, okay? But then my idea was, why couldn't you do a prism? And why couldn't you put book pages and make it vintage? But see, the picture totally goes through. So yes, that is a good question. And yes, you can do that. So the question will be, can I do... Oh, and this one's broken on the end, but that's what I had. I don't know if there's any benefit to doing this. It's too... It's going to be too spinny, I think. It's going to... I don't think that... I don't think I'm going to waste my time with that one. Uh, but let's do these two. I'm going to do that flat one. I really, really want to do the flat one. Okay, so let me get right side up. Okay, and then do I want... Do I kind of like those big words going... Oh, I do like that right there. That spot right... That's good. This is a little bit fatter. No, because that's showing two rows. Okay, let's go here. <laughs> You'll see why. Okay, I'm going to make sure I can see it. This not being able to see stuff is for the birds. It's ridiculous. Like, it's ridiculous. Um, the bee was, yeah, it was out of something I did. We did some, in the group, we made some books. Like, we ripped the paper and sewed the bindings. And we did um, texture and gauze and wax. We melted hot wax on them. And they're, they're just works of art. <laughs> and I love them. And, um... Anyway, we were taking pictures out of things for those books. Okay, so there's that one. All right, and then I'm going to cut this out around. Oops, let me cut that a little too short there. And then let's grab this little piece. And it looks like I missed a little piece right there. Okay, and then I know from the last one that I need to split down 
Um, so I split pretty decent, okay? I split it pretty decent there. All right. And let's keep going. I see my glasses. <laughs> keep them up. That's so annoying. All right. So we're going to put, oops, that's the back side. Oh, shoot. Hmm. Let's see here if I can wipe that off because I don't know if anyone can really tell that there's a back side to that prism. Let me spray some water on this. Oh, let me go ahead and spray some water on my little teardrop thing just to get that soaking in and make it a little more pliable. Oh yeah, I totally just got this all gross. Okay, let me see here. Well, luckily I have two of this one. I think I'm gonna put this one in the sink. Oh, no, I think I got it. Oh, my jeans. <laughs> I'll just shine it up a little bit. Buff it up. Okay. All right. All right. So these do have a front and a back. There is a little, see the little dot right there? That would be the front. And then the back has like the hook part coming out of it. Okay. So I started the Mod Podge the wrong side. I forgot. It's not like I do this every day. I've never done it before. But good catch, right? Good catch. All right. So I'm going to put some Mod Podge on this. And then I'm going to just kind of get this just a little soft so that it'll do the, the bending and stuff that I need it to do. Okay. Now, it's been so long since I've crafted with you guys. This is so fun. I'm glad I decided to do it in here. So, okay. So, let's press this down. It's funny, I've seen several of the girls from the group in here anyway, so they're still getting to see it. That's good. All right. Put that down. Okay. So I'm just going to get it all down there. Try to get the air bubbles out. You really, you know, just like regular Mod Podge on any other surface, you don't really want to rub it too much or you'll risk ripping your paper. I think this is pretty easy to patch, but still, okay, I need to, I'm trying to wrap it around that hanger, but still you don't want it, you don't want it to rip if you can help it. So I'm really just pushing, as you can see, I'm just pushing, trying to get all of the um, wrinkles out. Oops, and it moved just a little bit. Oh, it shifted on me. Okay, I'm back on. Okay, so I'm all down. I'm going to go back into the, I'm using glue and water. I'm using Elmer's glue and water because I bought a huge bottle of Elmer's glue last year sometime. And I didn't need as much as what I thought. I bought two big bottles of Elmer's glue, big bottles. And I did, only needed one. So I just mixed it with water 50-50. And I made my own sort of Mod Podge mix. So that's what I'm using, just to be honest. But Mod Podge will do the same thing, okay? Don't feel like you guys, oh, now I gotta go buy Elmer's glue. No, you don't. So, okay, here we are. It's really, oh, look how good it looks. And yes, it's right side up. <laughs> I just thought we better check that. Okay, yay. So, all right, let's do this one. This one's the one I was kind of waiting to see. And I just want to do basic words, I think. Let me look again. Yeah, I think I just want, oh, let me look here. I think I just want to do the words. And I think it's too small for you guys to really be able to tell what I'm what I'm doing here. Um, I don't know, the bold words just kind of jump out at you. Maybe we will go some bold. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of both here. So all right. So I definitely have the right side here. Oops, is this on backwards or why is that hanging? Oh no, it's right. Okay. Get, get your act together here, girly. All right. So I'm gonna hold it down. I'm going to trace it, and when I and when I am cutting it, I'm cutting right on the line or inside, just a snap inside the line, just a tiny, tiny bit. Okay, so, uh, okay, so here we go. 
So I was able to pick up some items for some of you to get that list off of my computer. Um, someone wanted chenille bedspreads. He had four, so I took pictures of them um, so that I can show those to you. And then see, Jana wanted a really pretty lighter, so I grabbed that. Uh, what else did I get for you guys? Um, someone wanted a light colored butter paddle and they didn't, he didn't have any butter paddles, so I couldn't get that. Uh, someone wanted maps from Lake Erie and uh, Catawba Bay. No, nobody had that. Uh, he didn't have that. I went to a couple places. Um, let's see. I had a whole list. I had a whole list. I keep dragging my paper out to see what it was. Okay, so, oh, oh, and I need a split in the bottom too because this one has two little, one on the top for the hanger and one on the bottom hanging off of it. So, okay, I split it, all right, cut it, drew it, cut it, split it. Now I'm going to spray it and let it kind of set up here. Kind of getting the water all around it. All right, let's flip our prism over and let's get it buttered up. How are we doing? Yay, oh yes, there's Jana. I got your lighter for you. Actually, it's right here. Where is it? Oh, it's really nice. Like there's the bottom and there it is. It's exactly like the picture you sent me. So yay, yay me. So <laughs> I was so glad. And look at this cute little wheel I found. I'm gonna just stick it in my, I'm gonna prop it somewhere. And then I found this little wheel. I didn't really get a lot. I found this little piece for, you know how I took that little, did I do that in here? Where I took that lamp apart? It might, I think I did that in the group. But this is another piece off of your lamps. Um, I think in here you guys saw my Christmas bell that I did, the bells that I made out of lamp parts. So this was a cute little cap. Um, I just thought it was really pretty. So this will be for Christmas time. And then I picked up, like, look at this knob for more tassels. I thought we would do some more tassels. Danita hasn't got the tassels I have done yet. And I got some more glass knobs. And then he had, me let me show you. He had medium, big, and little. So I got some of all of them. Medium, big, and little. So, like, really cute and I thought well maybe I could do like that for a tassel like that's cute I don't know what else did I get oh and I, he had one black one so I got that and what else and oh I found this is cool it's off of a, a piece of equipment and it's a gear shift topper so it's not a doorknob it's off of a gear shift I think, could be off of like a press from a factory, you know, when you would pull, could be off of that, but that's, it kind of has that gear shift sort of look. So that's like an attractor or something. So that's what I think this is. This will be great on top of a bottle or as the topper for a lamp. I made a lamp with Julie, you guys probably remember that. Um, and we used the spindle and I, I put the pastry board underneath to support the spindle and drilled the hole down the middle and we added the, the braided looking twisted it was new it's expensive but with the plug that's round you know make it look old but it's new wiring we wired that baby all up and everything and i made my key you remember it's i haven't been on here you probably don't remember uh but anyway i bought some new doorknobs too like i found this one that's a good one so I need to stick something in it. And then look at this little brass one. It's just tiny compared to a regular, see, it's smaller. And then I got a couple white ones and that's it. I got this berry basket. I'll show you this. This is for my picnic table. <laughs> I bought a berry basket. So I'm gonna decorate that up for outside. Um, there was a little local strawberry farm and it was, he kept one and it said White's Strawberry Farm um, across the front, but this one didn't. He had this one, a little bit smaller one, and then two square ones. They were so nice, but so I just got that one. But anyway, he said he has one, at, one or two, I think he said at home that says White's Strawberries on them. Oh, right? <laughs> um, oh, someone says a lot. Let's see, what did she say? 
I haven't done a challenge with Julie, no Terry. We, we've we been shopping probably three times looking for something janky that we can swanky up. Can't find anything that's two of them, you know? Um, we, yeah, we, we looked, we actually mentioned that and kind of kept our eyes peeled for a janky to swanky, but we haven't found any. And if you don't know what I mean about janky to swanky, oh my gosh. <laughs> We follow this guy on Instagram, uh, uh, Wesley, his name's Wesley from uh, Farm, Shenanigan, Farm Shenanigans, and he does, with a couple of girls, they do this janky to swanky challenge where they go out and find something and they don't tell the other person what they're, what they're buying and then they swap and they have to take it from janky to swanky and then they do a reveal it's so fun well anyway Julie and I have been watching him for years and we decided to do a janky to swanky just she and I for fun but we did it where we thought it was more fair to have the same item so like I have okay if you guys want I'll show you the janky to swanky when we're all done here um, I have I have Three projects here but it's not as fun because you can't see what she did but I can explain uh, but anyway okay so oh, I'm gonna love this one <laughs> I'm gonna love this one it's it's kind of gonna be worth the $22 I think uh, okay so anyway so we've done some janky to swankies and and if you want to see them I do have it's called highlight bubble on Instagram uh, the name of the site. What's, oh, he's on Instagram. It's, um, uh, farm, uh, farm, uh, uh, farm shenanigans. What's his name? Wesley with farm shenanigans. I think that's it. Wesley with farm shenanigans. Why can't I think of it? I keep, he opened us, he's got a store called, uh, Roots. It's a furniture store in North Carolina. And then his partner has, grows, has a flower farm they live on a flower farm and he grows beautiful flowers and you learn all about the flower farm and he's called petal pushers so you have farm shenanigans and petal pushers is their pages and then the then they own this furniture store called roots and then they own like a flower shop together i forget what they call that i can't remember i don't watch that very much and then um they opened a online store called the nested fig so they're very busy. So it's inspiring to me to watch them, of course. Um, but anyway, the janky to swanky is from Wesley. And um, very fun. But I do on my Instagram. Oh, I can't wait for this to dry. On my Instagram page, um, or what do they call it? Instagram profile feed. I don't know. I'm not very good at it all yet. Uh, anyway, on my Instagram, Tammy Loves Vintage. There's under like underneath hi I'm Tammy and all that there's little circles and they're called highlights and if you scroll across you'll find the highlights that say janky to swanky and you can watch all of our challenges you can watch us shopping to find what we what we got you can find us uh, making them I just me I don't know what she's making we never tell until we're all done and then we do a reveal she comes to my house and sees what I make I go to her house and see what she makes I think one year I took mine over there but anyway it's so fun and that's called, that's our janky to swanky challenge so there you go now it's not dry yet but oh my gosh I absolutely love it I'm wondering if I hung like almost made a tassel out of this in this room I don't think I do no I see something that might work as a tassel but not really I don't really have a tassel in here to grab so okay anyway I was just thinking like with the seam binding not the heavy muslin shreds but I'm thinking like seam binding for soft I love this I'm gonna jazz this up and make it fabulous you guys and then I'll show you I'll show you what I come up with. Oh yeah, this one's dry. So okay, here's a glass one. This is this is the smooth. Is it dry on the inside? Yeah. This is the smooth glass one. Okay, it's not cut. It's not crystal cut. Okay. So there's the smooth one, and then here's the crystal cut one. So let's put them side by side. So I, I don't know if it'll be hard to find a smooth. Um, and see the difference in the papers. 
So keep that in mind. Like, let me show you on the back how different the papers are. Okay, all right. And I sealed them. They're not quite, quite dry. And then this was the very first one. It was the plastic one. It did just fine. So if you happen to have a plastic one or you're at, you know, the thrift store and you see something with a plastic prism, I normally would not buy that, but I'm, I had a candelabra thing that I loved for outside. And anyway, so there, there's the difference. So it's good. It's good. Um, okay. And then this one, like I said, is still wet. So unfortunately I can't really show you, um, but yeah, it's thick. I mean, see, it's a thick prism and it's glass. I'm going to have fun with this one. I so bought it. I had a little trouble letting that, those dollars. Sometimes it's so hard to, it's not expensive, but I don't know. I just, I like to buy it. I like to go to a, you know, where I can dicker with them. <laughs> you know, go to a, um, a, 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 a antique, there and the guy's sitting there and so I would say you know will you take 20 or will you take 15 and he might say I'll take 18 you know you get it a little cheaper so I don't know it's just <laughs> funny like that but um well because I try to sell them back to you the glue just you can use Mod Podge I used Elmer's glue and water because my I ran out of Mod Podge I got down to like this much and it was getting really thick so I just dumped it actually I think I just added water and glue to that but Yep, but just water and Elmer's glue, like 50-50. And if you dump, I didn't measure it 50-50. I just kind of dumped 50-50. And if it's too thick, just add a little bit of water. You know what Mod Podge should feel like. And if it's too thin, add a little more glue. And that's, yeah. So, okay, you guys, do you want to see my janky to swankies since we're here? <laughs> okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I had no idea. You never know where my videos are going to go. Whoops. You just never, ever, ever know. So I can, I was going to say, take these glasses off, but maybe I better not. All right. My very first janky to swanky. No, this isn't it. Well, I'll go ahead. This was my second one. We bought this table leg. Okay. And it was, it was the support brace of a table and it went all the way across and there was a second leg. So we saw this thing and it was not painted and it was just the table leg, no caster, no pretty trim, and it went all the way across and down. So we bought it, Julie's husband cut it in half for us here, and she turned hers, she painted hers exactly like I did. Crackled, chippy, I mean, they look, it's so funny, they look identical, but she drilled the hole all the way through. Well, she cut it to, I forget how much she cut off, maybe like to here, so she had this much is a lamp, a lamp base of a lamp. And then this she used for like a candlestick. I think she put those, um, you know, at Christmas time, how I make those uh, lace trees. She put her lace tree on one of those and then had another hunk of some. Oh, maybe they cut another sliver off. I can't, I can't, you'll have to watch the Instagram thing, but it was like, you know, this much was one riser and maybe that much, oops, was another riser, something like that. So anyway, um, so then I took mine and I painted it and I added the caster wheel at the bottom, which I thought was super cute. And then I couldn't bring myself to, it looked like a shelf to me. I thought I'm making a shelf out of that thing. So I went to Lowe's and I bought this trim. I measured, you know, how thick the shelf was because it fits the shelf perfect. Had my husband cut it for me so that the corners were nice and all that stuff. And he did that. Then I painted the whole thing out <coughs> and I made a shelf. So to keep with the vintage thing, I added like a, like a clock collection sort of thing. Oh, my greenery is really bad. <laughs> so I'm always pop, popping things in and out of it. Sorry about that. I didn't know. Uh, there, that's better. <laughs> need to cut the stems off. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> so then I just put my little clock collection up there. Um, and I had this piece hanging there. I bought this at an antique show. I added some stuff. This was just a flat circle that I didn't like. So I did that. And then I added, this is an old collar, an old uh, handmade collar. And it was a good one. So I added it, just tacked it to the back. And then I tacked all of these little clock faces 
awesome clock faces to it. I mean, I love, like there are clock faces and then there's clock faces like these that just look, they just have the look, you know? They just have the look. So to me, the very best one is this one, front and center, boom. This is the second one, boom, love them. But anyway, so there you go. And then this is just kind of an eclectic mix of, um, you know, I showed you these today that Patricia sent me this morning that I opened. Here's another good one. Like these are all, I tried it because this I knew I was keeping. So I try to put like some of the, I can't say the nicer things, but some things that might be a little more expensive, I guess. Um, but there's a little dangly heart that I put in there. And um, I put book paper behind, if you can see that, to adhere this stuff too, in case any of the wood shown, I thought it would look better with the pages. And then the way this was cut, it was kind of, get my hand out of the way. Jeez, get my hand out of the way. It was kind of cut like that. So I wanted to put these two pieces, I thought it would be cool to put them together. Now this one took the paint differently than this one, but I think overall, I think they tie together just fine. Um, I don't, don't, no one's ever said to me, gee whiz, that one's chippy, that one's not. Like no one's ever, this one has some chipping, but it didn't do as good as this one did. Anyway, so then I took, um, I've got just some pieces of yarn and I have um, muslin shreds. You guys know I use that all the time. These are stained. And then I rolled these, you, I've shown you before, you roll them and then you roll them. You roll them long ways, you spin it till it's tight and then you roll it up like, like a pinwheel. And that's how you get those little flowers. So that's what I came up with to hide that crack. But anyway, so, so all of that to say, here's my janky to swanky. And then Julie made a beautiful lamp and she used an egg basket and turned it upside down. So it's a wire basket. She turned it upside down and made her lampshade. Okay. So let me, so here's my next one. This was our very first one. And this is when we were hooked on, um, doing this. So, so we bought these, this thing, this tin, whatever, galvanized, rusty thing. It had legs that came out and up like a spider. It, they came out and up and they were this rusty stuff, out and up. There were three legs. So right where this wire was, okay, so they were ugly, weird looking. And so I took mine and made a light out of it. There's actually, well, I can show you from up here, I think, yeah. I put a puck light in mine, okay? And I put, I used an old clock face that I had done something else with anyway. Um, no one can see that. <laughs> so, anyway, oh, no, there you go. Puck light goes in there. And so if I want to turn it on, I can just turn it on. I think I have a remote for it actually, but I, know, I used to do it, now I don't do it anymore. Okay, and then I use three different chains. So I have this rhinestone bracelet, or it might've been part of a necklace. Uh, I think it was a bracelet because both ends, there's one end and there's the other. So I think it was a bracelet. And then this chain, I just tried to get different chains. So I added different chains and I put them on a big loop. Okay. And then I attached those. I looped those to this. We think it was some sort of a burner. Um, like they had fire and maybe it turned, I have it upside down is what we think. We have no idea what it was. The guy had a whole bucket full of them, like a big, uh, barrel full. And then I added some jewels obviously to the bottom. And then these are just magnetic. I've shown you these before on my light. So they just stick on there. And I made a little mini chandelier. So then the trick was how am I gonna, how am I gonna hang it? And I was gonna put it from the ceiling. And then I decided to put it on this rustic wood slice, which pulled the brown rust, you know, kind of made it work. And then I had that, I happened to have that black hook so I don't know, I made it work and I think it's really cute in my uh, little space there. So, and this is not real shiplap. <laughs> you guys are probably like, gosh, what's wrong with this shiplap? It's painted, I painted it. So um, it's like none of it, it oh, oh, you guys haven't seen, let me show you my new treasure. So you saw my clock, you've seen my sign and my thing that we made in the group. But look at my, well, these are our new wreaths. They should be on the, they're brand new. Uh, but look at my scale. I, th I think I showed you guys this. So today I was, and remember I told you I didn't know what it was. Today, the store has one. It has a second hook that goes, it was $65. It has a second hook that hangs right here. 
and that's where that's where this mine's broke mine doesn't work so but that's where the scale I, I should I, it was kind of piled in and I couldn't really get a good look at it but it was for fur it was a fur um like they must have hung animals on it to see how heavy the pelt was or so I don't know. But he said fur something. It was in a showcase, so I couldn't really see. But so here, so here it is in my hallway, right? And I thought it needs, of course, my lovely, my lovely temperature things. But um, yeah, so I got these little wreaths in for us for the website. And I just hung that on the hook. And look, I love it. Yeah, I've been meaning to show you guys that. So that's what I did with my scale. Um, I showed you that, but I hate these, but we all have them. They're all in the wrong place. So I just ignore them. So just ignore that. If you ever see a picture on Pinterest or anywhere, you'll know that I'm hiding that. So, okay, let's, let's see. So I showed you that. Let me think. Oh, I know. I know where it is. Okay, I have another one. I, I made a platform with twisted. Let's see, what did we do? We bought twisted spindles, okay? And uh, yeah, I think I sold those two. I sold one of my janky to swankies. I made a pedestal. So I'm gonna take you to my basement. I hope I don't lose you. <laughs> Let me flip you around. Okay, let me turn my light on and get my light as high as I can here. Okay, so, so here's my lamp, my janky to swanky lamp. Let me show you. There's all my shipping boxes for you guys for the website. <laughs> So here it is. I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you without the light on. So what was the janky to swanky part? Was it the spindles? I think it was this. Or did we janky this? You know what? I think we bought this. This wasn't janky to swanky. I'm lying. This was not janky to swanky. We just bought these spindles together and we were going to put our, we were going to make our lampshade reveal and whatever we were gonna do with our spindle lamps, but we both knew we were making lamps, okay? So that's that's the story on that. I'm telling you totally, I'm totally lying. So, so anyway, but it's interesting how it all came together and I think you guys might like it. Um, so we took this spindle and I, this is, remember the other day I was telling you about the Easy Off Oven Cleaner? That's what I used to get this to be raw wood. And then I bought this, um, this is a pastry measure, uh, European pastry measure. And she said that they would, um, they would make their little tarts and they would make it the size of this. So I barely, I think we put four tiny little tiny nails so I can easily pull this apart because I didn't want to hurt this. It was too nice, a little pricey. It was like, I don't know. I don't remember what it was. I hate to say because I probably said in the other video. I can't remember what I paid for that. But I remember thinking, ouch, for a lamp base. But I love it. I'm glad I did it. This is the base. And then we bought all of the, like the wire. I'm going to show you the wire too. It's super interesting. And then we just added this like an oil res rubbed bronze kind of color. And then I'll show you the shade in a second. And then this is another gear shift. Remember the gear shift I just showed you? This one's a little bit bigger, but it's a handle for a, like a track, you know, where you're, you know, <laughs> and you ch -ch -ch that. That's what that is. <laughs> So anyway, then I took my, I took this, now this particular lampshade is special. It doesn't have any ribs, okay? <laughs> and it is um, um, just a circle, but it has these bars on it. And you can find these circles, but, uh, and you could do this with a regular ribbed lampshade. You would never see. I would just wrap the ribs with this um, uh, muslin ripped muslin okay and I just wrapped it and glued it every once in a while so that it wasn't raw wire and then I used muslin shreds and I just tied regular old keys I didn't use skeleton keys because that's a lot that's a lot and you can you can kind of find these keys around ask your friends hey you got any old keys you don't know what they are and you'll get enough keys so that's my that's my lamp there it is okay and then when I say the twisted wire if you want, if we got it on Etsy, it was there, it was a pretty expensive, but it's, see how that's like old lamp wire, right? You like my, <laughs> like my gear shift. <laughs> and then it's got 
this for the end. See, this is all new. Like that's new. Oh, it's got, that's new too. It's got the, um, that kind of a plug. So it really gives you the whole vintage feel. Um, and then this just was raw wire and we split. I was so proud of myself. I cut it, stripped it, wired it up through, wired the bulb. Like you can ask the girls in my group were like, <laughs> because I did that in there. Oh my gosh, it was so funny. It was great. They know how much, oh my gosh, we struggled with these lamps, but we got them. So <laughs> anyway, um, that was fun. So there you go. I'm sorry, I can't, I'm trying to think of what was the other janky to swanky. I know I made the pedestal. Oh, what I forgot to tell you. So my hanging chandelier, janky to swanky, Julie made um, a tree stand. She kept her legs. She flipped it the other way and made a Christmas tree stand. She put, a it's called a feather tree, which is just real sparse branches. She did a feather tree and then her, um, um, she, it took her forever. I'm like, what do you, you know, what do you, what's taking so long? Cause I was, it was our first one. I was so excited to show her what I came up with. Cause I knew she wouldn't do that. So any, um, you only blew one. Yeah. <laughs> I blew one Edison bulb. <laughs> you remember that Terry? Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, cause I did, I wired. <laughs> then when we plugged it in and poof. Oh yeah. <laughs> anyway. So anyway, she handmade all of these, ornaments with pipe cleaners and so cute like the old-fashioned pipe cleaner ornaments with the little paper faces oh my gosh she made kitty cats oh, they were so it's santa's vintage stuff so she had to make all of those ornaments for her thing you gotta go go to my instagram check out my highlight for janky to swanky I, there might be more than what might be janky to swanky one two and three i don't know but you'll have to check them out they were so so fun so okay yeah terry thanks for telling on me <laughs> i'm supposed to be a professional here <laughs> so let me say i saw a question about my wall I, and jackie liked my <laughs> sound effect you love the wall treatment um i don't rose but i did buy a project Keep watching. I did buy a project, a big, when we go back upstairs, I'll show you. I was thinking about doing something, a good impersonation, a gear shift, a gear stick. Yes, but it's the ball on top of a gear stick. You're right, a gear stick. <laughs> um, so, okay, let me, I'll get some, I thought I saw somebody wanted to close this up of the wall. Uh, you liked here, you liked watching the lamp. That was great. That lamp was a great project. So, okay, my wall. Okay, so there's my wall. I'll tell you a quick what it is. I did I did spots of colors. There is a burnt red color and there is green. Okay, you have to remember I did this years ago. So those at the time were the colors everybody was using. And like here's my green, my green blanket, and I have I have my burgundy one over there. So I did those colors, but I the burgundy was too strong, so I just did like a burnt red. Then I added copper, here, copper and gold. Uh, here's there's copper and gold. There's copper and gold spots throughout the wall. Okay, and that's on top. Now, after we've done it again and again, I've buried it underneath. But it, this was my, I always practice at my own house. So I, I, I don't, I don't love it because I know it's better buried underneath this stuff, but, but I still like it. So it's okay. Um, and I didn't do a whole lot of it. I just wanted to grab a little sparkle here. Um, and then all of these are like, the, when you get the mesh bags at the grocery for onions, and um let me find another one here um here so this one is like um maybe potatoes or i think that one was lemons i think that was a lemon the mesh is all different anyway i use different bags i can't i'm trying to find more but that gives you the idea so so i just take um drywall compound and a little bit of caulking and a little bit of water and i smear it on with a flat trowel like the um, like a shoebox lid with a handle, kind of like that, but little. Um, and I and I trowel it on, and then I pressed those things, those bags, into the 
compound and then peeled them out. And that's how I got all that texture. So there's just, I don't know. Uh, it's just different. It's very different. It's only the, just this accent wall, nothing else. Just this one little, it looks big, but it's really not big. Let me show you. It stops. See, I just did that accent wall right there. That's all. So it's kind of busy, but I didn't, you know, not, not too, too busy. So, okay, let me shut my light out and then I'm going to go back upstairs. And what did I want to show you up there? Shoot, there was something I said, oh, I'll show you when I go back up. Now I can't remember. Ah, can't rem Let's see, what, if I read your messages, will that remind me? Texture on the wall, gear stick, my impersonation. <laughs> oh, you like the gear? I do too. And it's funny, we both had a gear a gear whatever we both had one of those uh you had the skinny tree oh nice nice who said that linda that's awesome you have to go see the video thank you oh i know uh, that's what i was gonna show you so i thought i might rather than doing walls like i mean we did like these brick walls uh, i've shut the light up but like all these bricks with like shopping bags and and Oh, it's too much to explain, but anyway, <laughs> I did a lot of faux finish stuff back. We still paint, but we don't do a lot of faux finish anymore. Anyway, um, where's it at? I was at, what did I do? Oh, I, I think I put it in here. Anyway, I was at Hobby Lobby, and Hobby Lobby has these boards. Let's see, I don't really have a good light in here, so let me grab it. I'll take it out here and show you. Okay. Oh, you guys are wearing me out. So I have this board like this, and I was thinking I might do a faux finish on this board, kind of just like a piece of art. But I gotta get, I gotta get my head in it. <laughs> I, I, I had the idea, but I was thinking about doing like a wall treatment on that board. But I did pick up some postcards today. Where are they? I picked up I picked up a whole bunch and I've done these for you guys before but my thinking was shoot I've already cleaned it up uh, I had them laid out here let me turn the light on <laughs> I'm out of breath you guys are wearing me out um, so okay let me flip you around you can watch what I'm trying to do here so I picked up all of these postcards and I I've, I've got some for you guys too but I went for different writings, and I thought I might embed some of these. Um, like, I mean, they're all good, you can see. Um, some don't have stamps, some do, but just kind of laying them out where they look pretty um, and tucking in, like, you know, I kind of love this black ink. I love this. There were a couple of black stamps I pulled out. Um, but just like this one doesn't say very much, but I do love the, the word postcard up there is pretty and it's different from like how this one says postcard and this, see how they're all different. So kind of like that. I like the different colors of the papers. See, see, there's all sorts of levels of browning from age and then all of the different stamps too. It's really interesting. So I tried to pull just, so these were all of the ugly, ugly cards. I said, Jeff, give me your ugly cards. And I went through all of his ugly, oh, that one's not too ugly, but like travel cards is what they are. And I said, nobody wants those. And he says, yeah, sometimes people look through them. I said, well, I'm going to look through them and I'm going to take all of the pretty backs. So, and don't, like this one's 1914. I did see a 1971 in here. So they're, they may not all be super, super old, but I only saw one. There's a 68. And don't message me to go through these. I bought... 187 of them there's, there's 1910 but I, you guys message me and say can you pull me a 19 whatever ah oh, i don't want to go through them again so anyway there you go but your card i so i've got cards i where did i put them these are my keeper cards these are my keeper cards for you guys and then these are my sending back because they weren't pretty they weren't pretty on the front or on the back they're just plain so i'm going to send all these back he let me bring the boxes home um to go through them so anyway i went to school with him i know him kind of he's younger than me but everyone's younger than me <laughs> so there you go so okay you guys that's all i have so you saw everything so I, I was just thinking when i had my store i embedded 
different old book pages and stuff under that plaster. So instead of, um, instead of the colors, I wouldn't, I would put like these postcards, but then I'm like, oh, maybe I'd just do a whole collage of postcards, but I wish I would have, they at Hobby Lobby, they had rectangles, different sizes and the circle and I bought the circle and I think I would lose a lot of the postcards. I need to go back and get the rectangle if I'm going to do a collage of postcards. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you guys, I get these stupid ideas in my head and then I don't know where I'm going and then I push it away and like, okay, it's too much. And then I never, and then I'm like, oh, I wonder why I bought that three years ago. Because <laughs> like, yeah, I just get over it. And then sometimes the ideas come to me in like crazy, like, oh my gosh, I'm doing it, I'm doing it now. But so I'll, I'll share it and, I, and I'll share them over here. But it's, it's nice to do those several part videos in the group though, rather than here, because you guys can miss them, but in the group they see them. But if I don't do it here, I'll at least give you a whole thorough talking to about it. So, all right. Um, when's my next sale? I'm, I'm hoping to do one next week. We, I, I paint houses with a group of girls and one of the girls is out. She had a surgery. So I'm down to just three of us. And, um, I just, I didn't work today, uh, cause I was planning on doing a sale yesterday, but Danita was here. So we were, my website girl, you guys know, Danita puts all my stuff on the website for me. So she didn't leave till like one thirty. So it was just too late to drag everything down, set it all out. Cause I knew Randy would be home. And he did come home last night. So I took uh, Thursday off to be with Danita and I was going to set up a sale and do it and work on it all weekend, but I, that didn't happen. So I'm going to tell you next week, I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to guess Wednesday. I have a launch hair thing. They asked me to do another blow dryer um, brush drying thing. They want me to, they really, they like it. <laughs> They like me, so and I like them. So um, I'm gonna do another thing, and I think it's this Wednesday. It's the 16th, I think, but I can't remember what time. I think it's in the afternoon, but I'm thinking Wednesday since I'm gonna be here for launch anyway. I may go ahead and set up and do a sale around that. So I'm thinking Wednesday. I can't give you a time because I'm not exactly sure what's happening. We're supposed to get a snowstorm, which has nothing to do with nothing. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So. Wait till Wednesday. Okay, it won't be before Wednesday because I also have to consider Randy's schedule and what he's doing because it's a big mess here. When I do it, it's a big mess. So anyway, thank you guys. Uh, you love the right. Yes, Jackie, I went back because I was able to sell you guys a lot of really pretty stamps and pretty writings and all of that. So when we first bought our first big box of postcards here, uh, what was it? Christmas time. It was Christmas time. And I shared with you, we went through the box, Julie and I split it. We paid the guy for a whole box and we split it and we went through and she was like, we figured out which ones we absolutely had to keep. And then we laid them out and she, so we would lay out two or three and then she'd pick one and I'd pick one. Then we'd lay out more and we'd kept turns back and forth picking out what we wanted. And then I shared the rest of the box with you guys. So the, the ones that weren't very pretty, we flipped all of them over and all of this stuff was like, oh my gosh, I can craft with this. I don't care about that building, but I can craft with this. So you guys were jumping on them. So I went to Jeff's here not too long, uh, I don't know, maybe a couple months ago, a month, let's see, what is this, March? I probably went early February and got, um, I went through all of his postcards and I picked all of the pretty ones. So that's where you guys have been getting your Easter cards and your um, what did I, I had, uh, not very many. I had like four or five of the St. Patrick's day, had lots of new year's, had lots of Christmas. So now I have, I still have a nice stack of Easter for you guys. And I've shown you, oh, I just posted today. Some of the things I'm doing with them. I love them worked in my, the pedestals with the Easter cards. So anyway, so I went back today though, to get the ugly cards that had a pretty back. I said, Jeff, all I was looking at was your pretty cards. I pulled all your pretty cards out. Um, and so I said, I want to look at them. I want to turn the box around and, and shop the backs. So that's what I did for you guys today. So I don't know how much they're going to be. I have to take them in, show him what I kept, what I didn't keep. And then he'll tell me what it is. And then I'm hoping to add those to the sale on Wednesday. So, um, 
anyway, we'll see. But so the writing ones will be for you guys too. I'm going to keep a few and you guys can have some too. So all that. Okay. Postcards. Yes. Journaling your, um, what do they call those junk journals? And, um, um, like I said, I like embedding them in or for backgrounds in, um, in your projects. Uh, and I sold that big board. I sold that big board to Anne, so I can't show you that anymore, but I literally embedded this stuff and then plastered over to where you could just see hit and skip of the words. Um, but, but even if the words aren't pretty, like this one, the postcard, it was, should have been a, a don't keep. This one should have been a don't keep. But look at the color of the card and look at the, I know it's backwards, doesn't matter what it says. But look at his writing. It's good. Like, it's really good. It almost looks like another country. But it says, population of this town is about 2,000 Franklin Hinkle. And, I mean, here's the postcard. Not pretty. But I do love his writing. And he did this one, too. He did, there's four or five of them from Frank. Franklin. Frank. So, I'll, I'll explain what to do with them when I have my sale. So, all right, you guys. So you guys are dropping like flies. I'm going to go. You got your shirt. Oh, good, Lori. I'm so glad. And you love your glass buttons. Oh, I'm so glad. Everybody should be getting their packages here. Um, you love them, Janie? Well, thank you. I do, too. Um, you, yes, you can catch the replay, Tambra. Hey, girl. Um, you've been crafting. Oh, fun. Are you making bees? Little bees? <laughs> She's in my group too. Really enjoyed tonight. Thank you. Thank you guys. Nice hanging out with you. Uh, I think I'm going to go, uh, we're going to, I think we're making Chef Boyardee pizza <laughs> for dinner. I can make a mean Chef Boyardee pizza though. I can jazz them up and they're delicious. So <laughs> it's not very gourmet, but we like them. So, all right, you guys, I'll see you later. Thank you for watching and I'll be back again someday. Bye-bye. <laughs>